An A-B test, uh, one on each foot on the right, the Saucony Endorphin Pro on the left, the Endorphin Speed in Park City, Utah. Sam here, I'm taking a run in beautiful Park City as we're all hanging tight over the virus. And uh, it's an A-B test of on the left, Endorphin Speed, and on the right, Endorphin Pro from Saucony. I just came down a pretty steep paved hill and I can tell you that the left over here the speed is softer and a bit bouncier because it has a nylon plate whereas the Pro feels a bit firmer because it has a carbon plate so while the Pro is springier it definitely feels faster overall it's a bit firmer so they have identical midsoles, identical outsoles. Little, they have a little bit different uppers with the Pro having a single layered engineered mesh upper that reminds me of some of the Reebok Fasts. Whereas our Speed has a, also an engineered mesh upper, but it has sort of fishnet upper and sort of a three dimensional inner layer where you see the holes. So in terms of fit, the uh, Pro is a little snugger, especially at midfoot, whereas the Speed, a little more relaxed, but both fit very well. I think if you have a wider foot, you'll be happier with the Speed. Uh, I'm gonna keep going and give you some more comments in a few. I'm gonna borrow this Key Patrol snowmobile here for a bit to talk to you about stats and ride here. So our Pro has a carbon, um, a graphite polymer carbon plate, whereas our Speed has a nylon plate. And otherwise, the midsoles, which are a PB, PEBA, are identical, as are the outsoles. So what the carbon plate does for the ride, and I was on a quite hilly course today, is it provides more spring, but it, it is definitely firmer feeling on both uphills and, and downhills than the speed over here. Um, so uh, if your course is flat uh, and you're racing, for sure the Pro would be a great option. You definitely feel that speed roll on the flats, but you feel it less so on the climbs. And over on our speed, uh, you have more of a bouncy feel as opposed to a springy feel. Uh, the heel feels softer, not overly soft, but definitely softer on the downhills and some of them were really steep. On the climbs, because the plate is more flexible, uh, I was able to climb easier. So it's, it's, it, it, it really is kind of a trainer feel, but in a very light shoe. So the Pro, so the Pro weighs 7.5 ounces, 212 grams and the speed 7.8 ounces or 221 grams only three tenths of an ounce more i assume that's from its more uh elaborate upper and the heel counter so there's not much difference in weight really it's really a question of feel um i i would probably uh for me anyway hesitate to tr train in the pro but i wouldn't uh, hesitate at all in the speed so i'm thinking aloud as i'm going up and down the hills that the speed for most of us might be a better option for a course like Boston, whereas the um, the Pro on a flat course with that speed roll really feeling kind of a real natural toe off, a little more distinct than the speed, even though it does have it, would be a great one for a flat course. Now, uh, there is a difference in cost. The Pro is $200, the speed is 160. Um, the Pro will be coming out uh, April 15th, whereas the Speed will be coming out in uh, early July. So there's a bit of a difference when you can get them. Um, so for overall kind of general racing and training, one shoe to do all, because we have a tremendous stack height here of 35 and a half millimeter heel, 27 and a half, four foot, eight millimeter drop. Those are the same. You've got a lot of cushion at a very light weight in both of them with the pro leaning full on race, probably flatter courses and faster races, racers and the speed training and racing. Thank you very much for watching. We're hoping that the virus goes away because all we have are sledders and, and people uh, 
today because the mountain was closed uh, because of the virus. I hope you all stay safe and healthy.